Okay, what can you do about acne scarring? You know, when the spots have gone, but they've left little indentations or pigmented marks, or even those kind of ice pick scars that you get on your skin, um, there's a good deal you can do, a bit with skincare, a bit with tweakments, possibly some supplements. So I'll talk you through all of that just now. Um, and I'll also mention hyperpigmentation. You know, that's where you get pigmented bits on the face because scars left by spots can very easily become um, pigmented a bit darker than the rest of the skin. And that's the problem in itself, though the two things go together. So anyway, here goes. In terms of skincare, you're really looking at the same sort of products that you would use if you were treating wrinkles. So an exfoliating cleanser, maybe one with a salicylic or glycolic acid in it to get the skin really clear so it can absorb any treatment products you put on it. Then a vitamin C serum because that's going to strengthen and brighten the skin. That'll also help minimise any pigmentation that's going on. A moisturiser to keep everything working well or a hydrating serum. And then a sunscreen because that will help protect the skin from UV. It will also help reduce any of those scars picking up more pigmentation coming from the UV light in the sun. In the evening, you're going to want something like retinol or another kind of retinoid because that will really support collagen production in the skin. And it's collagen, the protein that keeps the skin firm, that will help rebuild the skin and help build out those scars from the inside out. Quite how well your skin can rebuild itself does depend to some extent on how old you are. So if you're a bit older, it's going to be slower to produce more collagen. If you're younger, the skin will be busier remodeling itself by itself. But retinol is a really good way to help it along. And then another thing you could try in the evenings on evenings you aren't using retinol, or if you don't want to use retinol, is a peptide based product because peptides are really good at stimulating the production of collagen in the skin as well. They take a bit of a long time to do this, but they will get there. So retinol, peptides, vitamin C and sunscreen to protect it all. Those are your best bets. I always think it's worth considering supplements like Altrian Vitamin C, like Totally Derma, the collagen I have on the site. I know they're an extra expense, but they both have proven abilities to regenerate the collagen from the inside of your skin. So that will help with any skin remodeling that is going on in your face. But you may feel that skincare alone, even with supplements, isn't quite going to get you to where you need to be in terms of your acne scarring. So in that case, you're looking at tweakments. So what are the tweakments we could think about here? You could try microneedling is a great one. That is very straightforward. The needles damage the skin, which encourages the skin to produce more collagen. So that is very good and straightforward, works for all skin tones. And for that, you'll need a course of treatment, maybe one a month for a number of months. See what your practitioner recommends. Skin peels could be helpful. Again, you need expert advice on what kind of peels would help with your kind of scarring and maybe a bit of laser resurfacing. Again, you know, you've got to be really careful with these things. So you do need an expert advising you on what may help. And if you have the kind of really deep ice pick scars that look like, you know, somebody's poked a pencil way into your skin, a bit of filler can be helpful in those because it will literally fill up the dent in the skin. Or if you have the kind of box type scars where they look like a sunken patch in the skin, sometimes a bit of filler beneath them can help to push them back up to the surface so that they become a bit more level. The other thing that can help if you've got a particularly resistant scar where there's scar tissue that has formed that's pulling it down is a technique called subcision where a really fine scalpel blade is used under the skin just to slice through the bands of skin that are holding it down so then it rises back up to the surface. So obviously that's quite invasive. So discuss what might be the best options for you with your practitioner. So my top recommendations for treating acne scarring would be skincare, including vitamin C, a retinoid and a sunscreen. And in terms of tweakments, I'd go for microneedling, but get some expert advice because that will really help. There's more information about this on the fact sheet on the website. And if you want a skincare bundle that would suit, you could try the big anti-wrinkle bundle of skincare on the website. Good luck.